Hi, it's Will from StormyCastle.com. Hey, and here on YouTube, you know me as Epic Fantasy, and this is my latest tutorial. This is how to make a Chris Dagger, sometimes called a flame blade because of the shape of it. See? Looks like a flame. These daggers actually exist. They come out of Java and Indonesia. And I give you, um, it's an easy project. You can have it made in no time at all, maybe an hour, maybe less, depending on your skill. And I give you in the template, you can print this up, download it, print it up, and then you can make your own out of cardboard or foam board. And I give you variations. You can make the loose blade or you can make the tighter blade. Fun little project. Diorama is origami, catapults and trebuchets, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees and paper games, swords and shields and real blacksmithing, model boxes, animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormyCastle.com. Let's make something. Okay, so print up the template. There are two handles and two blades. I'm going to see, and uh, one piece for the guard. I'm picking this one and that one. And you can mix and match them any way you want. You know, whatever blade, whichever blade with, with it, whichever handle. So there's a few different combinations you can get. And if you want, make a few of them. Then cut those pieces out and put together the blade and the handle like this. and then tape it. And don't forget to cut out those gu that guard piece. You're going to need to make two of those. So lay it out on foam board or cardboard. This project is good with either material, and then trace it. And you make two blade pieces and two guard pieces. There you go. Easy project. You can have this done in no time at all. Reinforce any of the lines. Now, let's take a look at cutting it out. When you're cutting foam board, if you're using an X-Acto knife, put a brand new blade in. It makes a big difference in how the foam board cuts. And then a rule of thumb is three passes. The first pass, you cut just the top layer of paper. The second pass, you cut the foam. And the third pass, you press harder and pr cut the bottom piece of paper. And there you go, an easy cut. Let's do a curved one because this is a curved project. One, two, you press a little harder. And three, you press all the way down and cut the bottom paper, and then you get an easy cut. Takes a little bit of practice, but you'll get the hang of it. Make sure you use a sharp blade. So go ahead and cut those four pieces out. Hey, if you want to support my channel, um, click on the link, go to my Patreon page. I really could use your support. I am, I have some goals that I'd like to make and you can help me with that if you appreciate my videos. So glue everything together. You can use a any kind of glue that works on paper like a white glue, EVA glue, right? I'm using a hot glue gun. It's fast and easy and it works just fine. You glue together those two knife blade sections and then you put the guards on. One on top like this. And one on the other side like this. And that's it. The blade is assembled. Like I was saying, um, yes, take a check out my Patreon page. They got lots of bonuses and gifts for patrons, depending on the level that you donate at, including um, free downloaded of downloads of my various books. Not all of them, but some of them. Um, some a free blacksmithing thing if you donate. Uh, free paper castle, all kinds of kind of fun stuff. I'd, I'm trying to build a castle, and I need your help. So there you go. Trim it with a knife to make it nice and smooth, and then sand it. Now, here's a little trick for foam board. Is you can use a pencil to make indents in the foam board. This is like detail work. You're not necessarily drawing the lines. You're pressing down hard so it indents the foam board, which gives it a nice detail. And the same goes for the blade. Now you can have as much fun with this as you want. Make any details that you want to make. 
Oh, and a ballpoint pen works really good for that detail work too. But like I was saying, yeah, then go ahead and paint it. And um, paint it any colors that you want. It's your flame blade. I went ahead and painted the blade silver. I like the speed ball paints. Takes a little bit of work to get a good thick layer on, but it gives a nice silver color. Then I painted the guard and the pommel gold. And remember, if you make this project, send me a picture. I'll send you a certificate of contribution. And I'll put the picture on my website. I painted the handle black, and then I added the jewel here down in the pommel. See, it's a six-sided red jewel. And then here's another little trick for you. Is use a ballpoint pen while that paint is still wet to draw out the to scrape away some of the paint. See, it, it, that's a nice way to do the jewel. I'll show you. There you go. Now you can see it. But you scrape away the paint while it's still wet. That makes a jewel. That's it. You have made a flame blade, Chris Dagger. It's they come out of uh, Indonesia. Thank you very much. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Um, hit that subscribe button. Visit my website. Help me out. Share my stuff on Facebook if you like it. Send me a picture if you make one of my projects. And here, like I was saying, this this project is also good for cardboard. Thank you. Thanks for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing to my channel. If you're not a subscriber, hit that button. I always have lots of fun and interesting and very creative projects. I do two new ones every week. As an example, here's a couple more videos you might want to watch.